For this lesson, we're going to start with circuits with capacitors in series and in parallel. Here we have three capacitors in series connected to a battery. We need to find the voltage across each capacitor and the charge on each capacitor and the charge pumped by the battery. The capacitors in series, they share the voltage because they are all the same, so they share the voltage evenly. So each capacitor gets 10 volts. And that means the charge on each capacitor would equal to C times V. For each capacitor, the C is 6 nano. For each capacitor, the voltage is 10. So each capacitor gets 60 nano coulombs. They are in series, so they do not share the charges. They all get the same charges. The battery also pumps the same 60 nanocoulombs. Because the battery only pumps charges onto this plate and that plate. All the other charges on the other plates, they are induced charge separation. If we have to find the equivalent capacitance, then we have to do the 1 over C equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3, so we get 3 over 6. That means the equivalent capacitance is 6 over 2, sorry, 6 over 3 nanofarad. That is 2 nanofarad. So another way to find the charge pumped by the battery is to say that the charge pumped by the battery is the charge on the equivalent capacitance, which is Q equals to CV. The equivalent capacitance we'll get is 2 nano, and the voltage for the equivalent would be 30 volts. So it's 60 nano coulombs, the same result as that. If they are connected in parallel, then the equivalent capacitance would be C1 plus C2 plus C3, which gives us 18 nanofarad. And because they are in parallel, they all get the same voltage. So each capacitor gets 30 volts. So the charge on each capacitor would be C times V. Each capacitor has 6 nanofarad. Each capacitor gets 30 volts, so each capacitor gets 180 nanocoulombs of charge. The capacitors are in parallel, so they have to share the total charge pumped by the battery. The, ba the battery's charge would split to 3 over here. So the charge pumped by the battery is the total charge from those uh, on the three capacitors. So this would equal to 180 times 3, 540 nanocoulombs. Or, of course, we can find the charge on the battery as the charge on the equivalent capacitance. So this will be C equivalent times V. The equivalent capacitance is 18 nano, and the equivalent will be connected to 30 volts. So this, yes, we get the same 540 nanocoulombs. We have also done problems like this. We get a capacitor connected to a battery. After the capacitor becomes fully charged, we pull the plates apart so the plate separation is tripled. By what factor does each of these items change? The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught A over D, which means the capacitance is proportional to 1 over D. The D is tripled, therefore the capacitance becomes one-third. If the battery stays there, the battery is going to maintain the same voltage. So Q equals to CV. The voltage stays the same, so the charge is proportional to C. The capacitance becomes one-third, therefore charge also becomes one-third. The energy stored in a capacitor is one-half QV. One-half is the constant, and the voltage also stays the same right now. So this is proportional to the charge on the plates, and this changes by a factor of one-third. 
so does the potential energy stored in the uh, in the capacitor. The electric field is uh, V over D. The voltage stays the same, so this is proportional to one over D. D triples, so E electric field strength becomes one third. Another scenario is like this. After the capacitor is fully charged, the battery is removed, so now the capacitor is isolated. And then the plate separation is tripled. By what factor would each of these change? The capacitance is epsilon naught A over D. It is proportional to 1 over D, so when the plate separation triples, the capacitance changes by a factor of one third. The battery is gone, so there's no battery to maintain constant voltage. But uh, the isolated capacitor's charges cannot leave, so the charge is now the constant. So Q V would equal to Q over C. Since the Q is a constant, that means the V is proportional to 1 over C. So when C becomes 1 third, the voltage triples. The energy stored on the capacitor is 1 half QV. 1 half stays a constant, the charge stays the same. So this is proportional to the voltage. The voltage triples, the energy stored also triples. The electric field is V over D. The voltage triples, the plate separation also triples, so the electric field stays the same. The battery is gone, so there's no battery to put in more energy. The reason why the energy stored in the capacitor can increase is because to pull the two plates apart, the person pulling the plates apart uh, has to do positive work because the two plates, they attract each other, so the person would have to pull hard and do positive work, putting in that extra energy.